glory, Tottenham Hotspur. Glory, glory, Tottenham Hotspur. Glory, glory, Tottenham Hotspur. And the Spurs go marching on. And we go marching on, Rich, we because... Have on. We are coming to you live from the fantastic Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. My word, it is absolutely epic for you what guys. A <laughs> what a dream stadium we're in today. It's absolutely amazing. Tottenham Hotspur, we love you. You guys are aware that Stato is back again and he has got even more. Of course he has. So come on in. Let's hear some facts about Tottenham Hotspur who play at this fantastic stadium. Well, interesting enough, a group of local schoolboys founded Tottenham in 1882. At first it was known as Hotspur Football Club. Oh, okay. So, do you know what the club emblem is? It's like a chicken thing, is it? Well, it is called a cook crew. Okay. And it stands on a football. Okay. So where does the nickname Spurs come from? When cocks fight, they were a spur. Oh. And that's how Spurs came about. And the cock crew on the shirt symbolizes the strength, determination, and the fighting spirit of this football club. There you go. There is to do. Yeah. We've seen it all around the yeah. stadium, haven't we? Yeah, I think it's behind us. And then the Latin is Audere e Facere. Tottenham being, they will be the third club we visit on the day, so they will be 20 miles in, so we will need that determination. So I think we might need to borrow that motto for a little bit, won't we? White Hart Lane, where Tottenham played for a long time, it was demolished. Uh, and then it was rebuilt yeah. as the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. So okay. we're on the same side we, okay. as White Hart Lane. That's brilliant. But this was actually, this is what come of it. Yeah, yeah. From White Hart Lane days. The legends Definitely. of North 17, shall we say? Yeah, absolutely. So you've got players, one of my favourite, one of my football heroes, Paul Gascoigne. Gaza. Oh, Gaza. What a player. What a legend. I mean, you've got the likes of Glenn Hoddle. Yeah, former um, Elementary. Yeah. Steve Perriman, who supported one of our events before. He has. Steve, Steve Perriman, yes. Um, oh. Go on. Harry Kane. Of course, yeah, not here Le anymore. A legend of this football club, yeah? Well, let's go back a few years. Jimmy Graves. Oh my God, man. So, so, so many legends in this club. And we can go on and on, like Ledley King, Gary Mabbitt. Yes. You know, Ozzy yes. Ardiles. This is not just a football stadium, would you know? Oh. Because it's got a multi-use okay. uh, event place. Yes. So, for example, this stadium, in addition to this Tottenham Hotspur matches, right? It does NFL, right? It also does boxing, rugby, music concerts. Wow. It's a multi-purpose venue which has been built on the old site of White Hart Lane. They've got two league titles. Fantastic, not to be not sniff that. Eight FA Cups, oh, huge FA Cup winner. Four league cups. Yeah, uh, seven community shields, charity shields. And go on. Three European titles. Wow, absolutely fantastic. Go on. But what Tottenham Hotspur also champion? Yep. They champion inclusivity. Oh, which is what we, we we really love, don't we? We are. So, as ever, we did get the goal at Borenwood. He is still over the moon about that. But we were going to try and do it at Tottenham today. However, bad news again, Godo. They took your goals away. It's not going to happen at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium today. That's okay. I got my goal. I got a perfect record. One penalty taken. One goal scored. Absolutely. So, as a reminder, guys, we'd say this every single stadium, but this is, this is the first time you're listening to this. What we're doing is obviously the Walk for Autism, the stadium tour for Anna Kennedy Online. We are raising money for a fantastic charity that promotes positivity of the autism community and continue to do so. We're also raising awareness, acceptance and promoting inclusivity of autistic people and we're trying to get people with hidden disabilities to come and enjoy the game. That is why we're doing it. And Tottenham Hotspur have embedded that today, haven't they? They have. So we talked at the Chelsea game, we did say that Godo had a bit of a connection to Chelsea and that's it. And to be fair, we do today. So I want to say a massive, massive thank you to our friends at Reef Plumbing. The Cokers, Heidi, Michael J and Zach, who are massive Tottenham Hotspur fans, which is why I wanted to give them a shout out at this stadium. We are so grateful for the support and they gave us a fantastic £300 donation. Oh, to go fantastic. Me, thank you so much, guys. Your, your support means the world to us. Absolutely. And um, we've got some more people we'd like to thank today as well. So another one, Gordon. Yeah, I mean, Theo Delaney, he, he, he really helped us a lot with yeah. this thing. Absolutely. And I want to say a massive thank you to Harry Scarf, who came out to us and said, can we do it? Can I do a video for your 
cause and I said absolutely and he did and he's been sharing a post and Harry's been amazing part of the Spurs uh, Scarfy Spurs talk on YouTube and I need to mention some of my Tottenham friends big supporter Steve Morin who works with us Steve we're at your stadium mate glory glory Spurs so I'd like to thank the the chairman Daniel Levy also Elaine Banks who arranged this for us and special mention and thanks to Francis and the all the security Absolutely. team who welcomed us so warmly today. Thank you very much. Cheers guys.